Hi guys, how are you today? How's the weather in your place? Sorry if you can hear a bit of noise in my background today because it's raining and though very windy all day here in Spain. So sorry about that guys, okay? It's me, Jenny, by the way, from your Health Matter channel. And in my video today, I will discuss about the most type of the most type of cancer found in men. In my last video, the part one, I already I would discuss about the most types of cancer in women. So today, I also wanted to talk about cancer, the 10 cancers that commonly affect men to spread the awareness, okay? So you can see here the topic outline today, the introduction. I will um, talk about 10, 10 uh, cancer that is commonly found in men, but uh, I will um, discuss more about the top two, the prostate cancer, signs and symptoms and diagnosis, lung cancer, signs, symptoms and diagnosis, and the other um, cancer, the type of cancer I will discuss as we go on, okay? Here is my objective. I wanted to show support for cancer awareness program and share learning about ways to prevent fight of cancer. Introduction. Introduction. Um, this might be the easiest way to comprehend the infos you see in my presentation about cancer and how to prevent cancer. Discovering that you or your loved one has cancer can be terrifying, isn't it? At the same time, once you comprehend the causes of cancer and learn how to reverse those causes, you or your loved one may have more than a fighting chance of beating cancer. Even if you're taking the standard medical treatments now or just trying not to ever get cancer, you are able to safely improve the effectiveness of what you do by utilizing some of the things covered here in my presentation today. So please stay tuned. Cancer affects men and women, but there are some cancers which affect men more than women. And also, many times these cancers are more deadly in men than they are in women. Men can lower their risk of getting these varying types of cancer by avoiding smoking and receiving screening tests at early age. And I will discuss more on them as we are going on. So here are the most common types of cancer found in one in the found in men, sorry for that. Number one is prostate cancer. Prostate cancer. This is the most common cancer diagnosed in men. Prostate cancer is found most more commonly in African American men than any other racial or ethnic group. It is unknown why it affects African American men more. But uh, it is recommended that you talk to your doctor about the screening option for prostate cancer through generally at around the age of 40 and above. Number two is the lung cancer. Look here. Number one, cancer that kills man. Again, more African American men are affected by lung cancer than any other racial or ethnic group. A large majority of instances of lung cancer arise from smoking. The best way to prevent lung cancer is, of course, to never start smoking at all, but to quit immediately if you do smoke. Number three is um, colorectal cancer, the third most common cancer in men. It affects all ethnic group and men and women about the same. It is found most often in the people age 50 and older. Screening for colorectal cancer is of course out of most important in finding and treating this cancer and saving men and women. Number four is the bladder cancer. 
Caucasian men have higher chance of getting this bladder cancer. This is more than men than in women, and it three times more likely in fact. In fact, Caucasian men have a higher chance of getting bladder cancer than any other ethnic or racial racial group. And in bladder cancer, it generally affects men over the age of 60. The older you are, the greater your chances of getting the bladder cancer. So here in colorectal cancer, it's age 50 and above, and the bladder cancer, men over the age of 60. So guys, be careful. Here is the number five types common found in the men is the skin cancer. Oops, sorry. Skin cancer is the more prevalent in men past the age of 40 in the United States. However, before the age of 40, it's found more in women. Can you imagine that? And the number six is non-Hodgkin lymphoma. This cancer, will, which attacks the lymph nodes, it is more common in men than in women, and especially in white men. It mostly affects adults with a compromised immune system like from the HIV, guys. There are forms which can affect children as well. Certain types of non-Hodgkin lymphoma can be found in women more than men for an unknown reason. Seven is kidney cancer. Men are twice as likely as women to get kidney cancer. However, it is still amongst the top 10 cancer women get as well, the kidney cancer. This is a cancer that generally is not seen by men or women until later in life after age 64. 64? And usually not before age 45. Eight is throat or mouth cancer. It's very obvious the cause is smoking. Cancers of the mouth are twice as common in men as they are in women. Obviously, it's because men smoking more than the women. Oops. Number nine is leukemia. Leukemia. This is the only slightly more prevalent in men than it is in women. It also affects Caucasians more than any other race. It's a cancer of the blood which affects older people more often than it does younger people. Number 10 is the pancreatic cancer. Here. Another cancer that affects only slightly more men more than it does to women. This cancer has been slowly increasing over the last 10 years or so. It's also more common in African American than the Asians. So if you're man, if you're a man, these are the cancers you have to most worry about, the 10 cancers. Most, many of them can be prevented with simply lifestyle changes like not smoking and eating a healthy diet, the most important. And screening go a long way to saving your life when diagnosed with any of the cancers that I just shown you. Next topic. I will talk about the prostate cancer, what it is and how to test for it. Everyone knows what breast cancer is and that is a self breast exam and mammogram are used to detect it. But in prostate cancer doesn't get quite as much breast. So here's what you need to know about prostate cancer. So here, what is prostate cancer? Prostate cancer only affects men. Obviously, this is because only men have a prostate. 
The prostate is a gland that in the male reproductive system which sits just under the bladder in front of the rectum here. Here is the prostate here. You can see here. Prostate cancer is a very slow developing disease. The most common form of prostate cancer is called adenocarcinoma. This cancer develops in the gland cells which make the fluid that is added to the semen and the other types of cancer can start in the prostate gland. Cancers like sarcomas, small cell carcinomas, and transitional cell carcinomas. This is extremely rare though, but most types of prostate cancer are called adenocarcinoma. So, what are the warning signs and symptoms of prostate cancer? Because of how slowly prostate cancer can develop, many times men die of old age or something else never knowing they even had prostate cancer. However, that's not always the case and it's important to know the warning signs of the prostate cancer that you can see in my screen now. Increased frequency of urination, you always go to pee pee, and urgency to urinate, urinating multiple times during the night, hesitating to urinate, having a hard time to starting the flow, and you can see sometimes blood in urine or blood in your semen. Now, new onset of erectile dysfunction, Pain in the bones of the lower back, hips, and or ribs. Loss of bladder control. All of this could be the sign of something else, of course, but you should see your doctor if you have any of these symptoms that you can see in my screen and know what they might test for your prostate cancer. So it's very important, guys, to not ignore the signs and symptoms that you can see here then if you can uh, if you think that you if you feel like weird then you have to contact your doctor so what tests to diagnose prostate cancer prostate cancer can be found by determining how much PSA or the prostate specific antigen in the blood. PSA is a substance that it is made by the cells in the prostate gland. When levels increase, this could be a sign of prostate cancer. Listen to that. But since other things can increase the production of um, PSA or the prostate specific antigen in the blood such as enlarged prostate, or older age this is isn't always accurate guys so your doctor might recommend that you have to test to be performed at a later date or he might send you for a biopsy of your prostate another way is the digital rectal exam or the DRE this is the exam every man dreads where a glove finger is stick in the rectum and the prostate gland is felt this exam is less effective than the prostate specific antigen test but both tests can give false positive or negatives in many cases so it's very important to discuss your option with your doctor it's the best we have got for early detection. For most men, discussion of testing should begin around the age of 50. However, if you have a family history of a prostate cancer, then discussion with your doctor should begin 
should begin by the age of 45. So it's up to you if you get screened because prostate cancer develops so slowly, it might not be necessary to go through screening which can cause anxiety to you or tell you you don't have it when you do. So, if your doctor does suspect you have a prostate cancer, then he will send you for a biopsy of the prostate. And this is the most accurate way to determine what's going on with the prostate. If you have one of the symptoms that uh, I just discussed a while ago, so be careful guys. The bottom line with the prostate cancer is it, it has a very high survival rate, but you should always be aware of the symptoms your body is presenting with and your family history and discuss all of this with your doctor because no matter what, as it with all cancer, we remember fear it's detected the easier it is to treat so always remember that guys the earlier it's detected the easier it is to treat so again guys i will i will remind you again that don't miss it this one important to remember always be aware of the symptoms your body is presenting discuss family history to your doctor if you have family history of the prostate cancer you have to discuss that to your doctor because as i said as with all cancer the earlier it's detected the easier it is to treat so that's it now my second topic will be the lung cancer what you need to know about lung cancer. Lung cancer being the leading cancer causing death in America, you really should know, get to know all you can about this disease, including the causes, the symptoms, and the screening tests that are done to diagnose the lung cancer. If you're armed with the facts or the information about this disease, then you'll increase your chance of survival. What is lung cancer? Causes of lung cancer While lung cancer causes the most cancer-related deaths, it's actually one of the most preventable forms of cancer. Most lung cancer is caused by, of course, smoking. This comes from the directly smoking yourself or prolonged exposure to second-hand smoke. However, it is possible, but very rare, for people to develop cancer without ever having smoke or being exposed to a second-hand smoke. In these rare instances of people developing lung cancer, it doesn't have a clear cause. Cigarette smoke is full of carcinogens, as you know, cancer Carcinogens is a cancer-causing agent. When people inhale the smoke into their lungs, it lines that lungs with this, this dangerous carcinogens, this damages the cells. So they may be able to regenerate, but repeated exposure over time, over time causes the cells to act abnormally which eventually that causes a person to get a cancer. So if you're a smoker or have been exposed to a lot of cigarette smoke in your life, then there, is, there are certain signs and symptoms you do not want to ignore, of course. Since lung cancer usually doesn't have any symptoms until it's more advanced, you don't want to let it continue untreated. So again, the causes of the cancer, of the lung cancer, is related to death, one of the most preventable form of cancer, and it is caused by smoking. 
Here are the symptoms of lung cancer. Here. You can see in my screen what you should look out for when lung cancer is involved. A new persistent cough. Any changes to your smoker's cough. Coughing up blood if you have blood in your new cough. No matter how little it is, shortness of your breath. You will experience chest pain, wheezing, hoarseness, and of course the sudden weight loss without trying to lose weight. Bone pain, and you will experience always headache. If you have any of these signs or symptoms that have become worrisome or anything else that concern you, then call your doctor right away. Ignore all the symptoms of lung cancer, guys. Call your doctor right away. And quitting smoking before any of these symptoms arise is very important, guys. And if it is necessary, seek help with this if you have to. Discuss it with your doctor. And it might not prevent you from getting lung cancer, but of course, your chances of survival increase the sooner you quit your smoking. And if you're at risk for lung cancer or have any above of the signs and symptoms that we discuss, your doctor might order the some test which I will discuss now. Screening for lung cancer isn't as easy as for other cancers. While we know that heavy, smoke, heavy smoking causes it, really until masses show up on your lungs and you show your symptoms, it's very hard to tell now when someone has lung cancer. This is probably why it is the deadliest form of cancer, guys. So your best fighting chance of early detection is a low dose of a spiral CT scan. This test has been shown to decrease the chance of death from lung cancer in, in heavy smokers. It is much more effective than x-rays or the sputum test. This is one of also the screening tests they will do for you. The sputum test or an x-ray. Technology that we currently have to test for lung cancer is that they often show benign non-cancerous cells which leads to more invasive testing. So since there is even greater chances of survival in most cases, having invasive procedures are, are not always recommended. If you are showing symptoms, then your doctor will, will most likely do a sputum test or an x-ray. If masses are found in your, um, in your sputum or in your x-ray, then they'll send you into a biopsy. Biopsy. There is just no other reliable method for diagnosing lung cancer early. That's the reality. Here is the conclusion. You have to stay on top of your medical care. That's more very important. Seeing your doctor regularly and screening for cancer will help you diagnose a problem early, possibly preventing it from turning into cancer. So these things are just some ways you can take cancer into your own hands and reduce your risk of getting it. Nothing is guaranteed in life, but you will feel much better if you detect it earlier, the easier it is to treat. That I, I already told you that. That's very important, guys. And um, if you are worried about lung cancer, then the best thing you can do is to quit smoking and talk to your doctor as much as possible because lung cancer remember this guys 
Lung cancer is the number one cancer killer of both men and women in the United States and your chances of getting it are greatly dependent on your lifestyle choices. So, if you are a smoker, then you have to stop smoking. That's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching and listening. Don't hesitate to ask any question if you have. Then you just write it on the comment section. And um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And in my next video, I will talk about the colorectal cancer, which is very common to both men and women. This is very important also, guys. So please support my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And have a very nice day. Hope to see you on my next video. Thank you. Bye.